and then we can have add or yeah and then we have new volume panel UI and this is the vibration and this is the live session I will turn it off so we go to setting and then here is our setting and we can see for the first one network it nothing special from it and for the connected device we have NFC working and also for this Android R bubble ah, here you are bubble and we have this kind of notification setting and for battery we have we can choose to show battery percentage or not and for display we can adjust brightness here and dark team you can schedule it and light light also can schedule it and the live display also you can adjust the RGB here and picture adjustment also and the additive brightness you have status bar you can remove or add to show the icon in the status bar and the screen type out and the screen attention and you have double tag to wait and for lock screen you have can you can show or hide and attacks we have advanced setting you can always on or wake up and this is prevent the screen from wake up if you device into the pocket and for sound is almost the same as pure LSP and for security we have fingerprint but no face unlock and lastly we have the schedule double tap status bar to sleep uh, it's working or double tap to sleep on lock green and we have system navigation we have two button or three button two button you have and for schedule navigation you have high you have the sensitive and for you press volume and you have this lockdown emergency and you have power manual device control swap to screenshot and you have quickly open camera and you have I think you have 
(uh) this one notch setting also ya ya you can see that the notch is changed so for receive manual it you can directly share it share the screenshot you no need to screenshot and share you can just directly share and i think that's all for revenge os so which ROM do you recommend me to do the ROM review? Please comment down below. Thank you for watching.